Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Orion TV once again, and uh, right now I am featuring how you can set up a uh, plantation for militant squash. So, this is how it started. What you do is that you create a bay or a pole on the side, somewhat at this distance. You see? Yeah. So not that close for the distance and so this is uh, until there and according to the owner she already spent uh, for just for the setup almost 12,000 so all 12,000 for this and of course uh, labor so let's take a look on how it started so you don't need to uh, remove the weeds under when you are starting. So when you are starting, all you need to do is to clean the surrounding of the militant squash like this. So it's clean. But the surroundings, no need. You don't need to bother about those weeds. It's fine. Just leave it as it is. However, in the surrounding of your militant squash, you have to clean it. And then, I say after 30 days, you apply some fertilizer uh, to support its growth or to give some nutrients. Because this type of soil, this is not really good. The good soil is color black, but um, I haven't measured the acidity of this soil yet. But according to, I mean, to what I see, it's not that really good for other crops so that's why they they created I mean that's why they decided to create a militant squash plantation here so let's take a look on the other that's it so this vines is starting to climb up that one so it's already starting to climb up Let's take the other one. See, the distance between the first or the the base of a plant to another plant is quite long. Estimated distance will be around, <laughs> what's the distance? Three meters? Four meters. Four meters because this is one, uh, two, three, four meters distance. But you see, in my last video, I uh, uh, showed to you uh, the potential of the uh, militant squash. Okay. Okay. So the type of technology is that they're, they're trellising it, so they're just guiding. The purpose of this uh, stick is that the sticks, they're just guiding the militant squash to climb up. And then once it, climb, it, it, it climbs, um, they're going to tie some nylons between the spaces. Purpose of the string is that this is just the base, the base for uh, the vines so because if you will have a lot of fruits on the tree then uh, it can support the, this entire space so that's why purpose is that this needs to be strong it really needs to be strong and then depends on you depends on your approach and experience then you can just tie nylon there in this uh, tie a nylon diagonally so it will not cost you a lot imagine for this once this is already set up it will take two years three years or even uh, five years for the basis so what you do sometimes if a farmers is not lucky enough uh, those militant squash will die due to weather so because they like cold places they like water 
the characteristic of the Milton squash itself it's a lot of water so they need a lot of water in the tree too or in their in their bases now during summer most of them die so what you need to do is just replace them for example this uh, this one dies then just replace it no worries <laughs> okay so that's it for the base that's how you set up the Milton squash there that's the Milton squash all over okay well thank you very much for watching Zorion TV next time I will feature um, uh, Vulcan F1 chili so I, I will show you uh, the small garden it's not that big plantation and then I will also show you the yield of a Vulcan F1 well thank you very much for watching and keep watching so that you will be informed if you like to uh, do some farming um, if we have some uh, features here I'll, I'll, I am going to upload it in this channel so uh, see you next time and thank you very much for watching goodbye